Hi, everybody. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. How is everybody? Go over here and mute this. Rearrange some windows here. Got the spinning dot over here. Let me see. Here we go. Do you ever feel that you're... There we go. Now that's muted. Now move that over. Hey, Carol. How are you, my friend? I got some cool stuff to show today. I hate that little message in the corner. This Hangout on Air is live. Not that one. Hangouts on Air is going away August 1st. I didn't know it was that soon. August 1st. For quick streaming, try youtube.com slash forward slash webcam. Has anybody tried that yet? Oh, I hate learning new things. I am not a change person. I'm a routine person. Hey, Barb. And I would say hi to who, who was here um, first. Um, Lisa Flipping Crazy was here first. And Miss Chris is here. And uh, they're abandoning the bin pickers video to see me live. Oh, thank you, Hedron. Perlini, Pearl. Pernini, is that's? Did you change your name, or is this somebody new? And if it is, welcome. Hey, Swampy. Hi, Kathleen. I'm just wondering if Pernini is uh is someone that uh, has had a name change, or if that is somebody new to my streams. If it is, welcome. Yes, ma'am, you're new. Well, welcome. Thanks for coming. Okay. So, I don't have any sales to show again. I think it's really gotten into the, you know, summer. Everybody's saving for vacation. Um, and it's slow. So, um, it's really slowing down. Yes, you know me. I love you. <laughs> I do know you. Well, love you too. Thank you. Um, thanks for being here. There's bum crack. Hi. Hi, bum crack. Um, so the best thing I'm going to not save for last. I'm just going to show it right from the jump. It's this. It's a bake light bracelet. Is it not cool? So if you follow me on Instagram at Dazzled by Vintage, you would have already seen it. You would have seen my little tube of Simachrome and my little cotton ball, which I tested it with. And it was a dollar. And I absolutely love it. The only thing that would have been better if it would have been my cherry red, that would have been better. Um, but I do love it. I think I'm going to keep it. At least a while and uh, it's that spinach green and it has the, the yellowy swirls in it it's very cool I don't have a this is the first Bakelite piece that I have that's this chunky I think um, so I wanna I want to hang on to it a while I really love it um, and then um, I got this, which is equally awesome, not equally, almost as awesome. I got this at the Antique Mall, the Black Rose Antique Mall, uh, of which there are like three or so of those along the, along the East Coast in, um, in the close proximity, I think, of here. And uh, this is so cool. It's going to be like for... Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw it too. Uh, it's going to be for certain jewelry to display. I think it's, you know, for the whole books and things, but it's glass, it's glass hands, and it's uh, like marbled glass with, you know, these colors just scream like, I don't even know, 40s? I don't even know. Old. The colors scream, I am old. Let me hold something in these hands. <laughs> Aren't that, isn't that cool? 
Hi, Darlene. So I don't know. You could put you could put a little book in there, but here's what I had in there that I took a picture of. You saw the display on Instagram. It looked cool. Yeah, I thought, you know, there's only certain things that's gonna work. You know, maybe some beaded necklaces will work. Um, this worked because it was the color. I like the colors together. That worked. Um, so I'll just show you that since that came up first. You're multitasking. That's okay. Thanks for being here. I hear you ho hold your dollar bills, Barb. <laughs> I hold my hundies. Barb, I put hundies in there. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> oh hi friend how you doing so i got just this locket and the locket is avon and it was missing this it was missing the stone i don't know what was in there originally but it's a really cool old avon locket and i i put this in there just happened to fit perfect and i think it looks great but it opens up opens up there and it's got plastic over here and it says Avon there and um, then I put it on and it snaps shut securely it's very nice I like it it's very chunky and very ornate and detailed and it's got a nice I put it on this chain I think it looks good on that chain hi Lydia Oh, Casey. Hi. Uh, high in the sky handles. What are hundies? Oh, hundies. Hundreds. I call them hundies. <laughs> like $100 bills. Hundies. <laughs> That's just my slang, I guess. Not everybody knows, knows about hundies, I guess. Maybe, maybe Benjamins. You put Benjamins in there. I stack my Benjamins or my hundies. <laughs> Hi, Debs. I wasn't going to come on today, but I thought I would because I got some pretty cool things to show. Have I missed showing the bake light? You did, Isabel. Hi, Isabel. How are you? But I'll show it again. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Here is my bake light $1 bracelet. I just love it. I um I tested it and it's it's bakelite, it's nice and chunky and uh, it's cool. Oh thank you. Um thank you, Endless Sky. You know, since you changed your name, I, I used to know your real name, now I forget your real name. I want to say it's Linda, but I don't I don't know. Endless Sky. <laughs> That's terrible. Things just fly out of my head. I don't know where they go, but they're they're just flying out left and right. Hi, Ber Berlini. Is there somebody here named Berlini? Hi. It is Linda. Oh my gosh, that's that's amazing. I feel so much better that I got something like in my brain and it actually stuck there. It's not like you know I'm going down the road and forget where I'm going. That's happened. <laughs> so, Linda, that's great. I did remember that. Um, yeah, it is my favorite color. The, Lydia, though, the only thing that I would have liked better if it would have been red, if that would have been red. I do like green, though. I like green a lot. Green's, green's great. So, some other things that I got. The story is, well, let me show you this first. Um, I got this at the antique mall too. I was getting kind of antsy for something new. So I went into that booth where I got that Nina Ricci and it took me a while to find the booth again because I thought I wrote the number down and I didn't. Um, uh, but I found it and he had some things, uh, that I picked up. This was one of them. I, I shouldn't have got it. I should have, and I shouldn't have, but I did. It's Monet, but it was $12. More than I like to spend for Monet out in the wild, as they say. Uh, usually, you know, I 
I love Monet and it's definitely worth that. And I really, really like this, this particular piece. Um, it's really nice looking with the chains, but I thought 12 was, you know, 12 is really pushing the limit, but, uh, it's very, very nice. And, uh, if you watched my previous video, I did show this. I almost forgot. I, I did show this in my video that I recorded earlier. I probably showed those hands too. Oh my, me, my. Angie, is your bracelet a keeper or is it for sale? The Bakelite. You know what? I think I'll keep it for a while. I haven't decided yet. I have a little collection of Bakelite and I've never gotten anything this chunky before. And I really, I really kind of like it. So I think I'll keep it a while. It may go up for sale at some point. I don't know yet. Thanks, Fran. <laughs> um, Salvation Army. I stopped in there after the church, after I was at church on Friday, um, working a little bit. And this is probably going to be my routine. Yes, it does, Debs. It's probably going to be my routine that I will st stop there on Fridays. And then I'll swing by another thrift shop. So I stopped at Salvation Army and I, I went in and all of the um, jewelry cases were empty. And I said, where's all the jewelry? And she said, it's over there. It's 99 cents a piece today. Everything. I said, what? <laughs> and I made my way over there. And there's this like tables, long tables spread out with jewelry. I, I'm telling you, I was there for at least an hour at least an hour just pouring over every single thing i found some monet okay isabel um you'd have to send me your your email or whatever and uh let me know as and uh thank you lisa put my etsy shop link in thank you very much lisa for doing that um you can get uh, to me through my etsy shop too run i know <laughs> and i was the only one there i mean for the longest time i was the only one there looking at this stuff nobody everybody was in there looking at other stuff and it wasn't real crowded either so it was very nice i found uh well with the exception of that one all these all this monet i found in there for 99 cents a piece so let's go through it <laughs> I know that's awesome 99 cents um thank you Chris uh, so these are older uh, and I didn't look up in the book yet but I'm thinking they might be in the book they're real big uh, clips button clips they do have a small dent here but overall they're in very good condition they have the older Monet mark on um it's the big the big pointy M is the older Monet mark. You can't see it in there, but these are pretty nice. 99 cents. Then along the same line, we have the discs. And um, they're really nice, too. It's just amazing how well the older Monet holds up. The newer, not so much. But the older, yes. The older is what you want to get. Uh, I, I was just so tickled with this. This is awesome. Silver tone. Um, probably, what, 24-inch long necklace? Um, hi, Christy. How are you doing? Um, thanks, Kathleen. Uh, this is... Uh, this is also one with the big M, the big pointy M, I think. So this is probably late, I'm going to say late 60s. Um, it doesn't have the copyright symbol on it, so it's it's an older one. Well, that's a nice, that's a really nice 
necklace there. Oh, and I got, I actually got like 47 pieces of jewelry. And I, she told, she told me, she said, you count it. Cause I had like a pile of it. She said, you just count it. And I said, really? She said, yeah, you count it. Cause she was kind of busy. So I'm like counting it, counting it, counting it. And I counted 47 pieces and I said, well, how about $45 then? Cause I got 47. She said, fine. And I thought it was so cool that she trusted me, you know? Um, so anyway, that's, that tells you how many pieces of jewelry I got. I don't know if we'll get through them all or not. I think so too. I mean, you know, I can sell, I can sell this for, I don't know, close 30 maybe, or maybe more. I don't know. So yeah, craziness. Uh, these clips are nice. They're still on the card, but they, they are scratched up and they are, if you look, uh, they are scratched to the point where you can see the scratches. Now I think these might be, yeah, these are newer. So I bet if they were the old 60s ones, they wouldn't even be scratched. But the newer, uh, lesser quality ones, scratches. And you see the barcode, and they were $24 when, whenever they were out. Uh, hi, Fairy Vixen. Did I already say that? This is the Bakelite. That's the Bakelite that I got, Fairy Vixen. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. You know, God's been blessing me. Um, that's all I can say, man. He's just been he's just been pouring on blessings, not only not only um, this kind of blessing, but the kind I really want, the spiritual blessings. You know, that's more that means more to me than than this stuff. So it's just been it's been pretty much an awesome week. Um, these are older. And they have some finish wear on them, but um, they have the older Monet mark on them too. They just had a couple little dots of like loss of the finish on here. I mean, you couldn't even see. And I have a feeling they might be in the book. So I'm going to look those up. And then I got some hoops, some silver hoops, just plain ones. I might even have another pair of these. I don't know. And then these are pretty common. I I know I have gold ones like this. I don't know if I have the silver ones. But those Monet. These I don't. These are probably newer, but they're cool. I do like the matte finish um, earrings. Sorry if I'm missing anything in the chat. Oh, Lydia. Thank you so much. I never think that would be Bakelite I saw, if I saw that bracelet. You know, I didn't think it was either until I looked at it close and I just and then I kind of clacked it and I saw those swirls in there because normally I haven't seen Bakelite that was like it looked almost like thermoset you know like in that in that particular setting like you know that usually that's like lucite uh, that's in it that, that's in this kind of a setting but you know I tested it like twice three times and i'm like every time that q-tip or that cotton ball whatever i tested it came up yellowy orange and you know if you test something and it's not bakelite with semichrome you're just going to get pink or dirt you know i've i've done enough of testing where it wasn't bakelite to see what it comes up as um, one of my favorite Monet jewelry were my small knot pierced earrings. I bought while babysit with babysitting money, probably in 1970. I wish I still had them. Oh, Chris, I might have those. I might have them. And if I do, I'm going to gift them to you for sure. I hope I do. I would love, I would, it would be my blessing to gift them to you, Chris. Um, Oh, Isabel, thank you. It's it's a Holy Spirit, you know. It's not, I don't have anything to do with it. Um, I like these two. These are chain, chain earrings. They're 
I don't know when they're from. Let me see what that mark is. That's got the, the copyright, and they're probably 80s, maybe. That doesn't have the big pointy M. Is the script letter Monet new or old? It is um, new um, for the most part. I'm, I don't know if I've ever seen any script that's old. I might have, but I think for the most part, anything you see today that's script is going to be the newer. And then um, this is a, a Monet bar pen. I'm not big on it, you know. I I, I only got it because it's you know because it's Monet. <laughs> I mean, normally uh, bar pens are like not my real favorite thing, but I'm just put getting it because it was 99 cents and I can put it in my collection basically. But it wasn't. It was like my least favorite probably. Now, this was not 99 cents. It was at the thrift store that I stopped at after the Salvation Army, but it was $2, but I think it was worth it. It's a Monet Turtle, which I don't have, in uh, silver tone, and it's very cute. It's got the green, green eyes. It's in really nice shape. So I got the Monet out of the way. That's all my Monet for today. I think. I think I covered it all. But I got some other cool things. We'll get get back to the 99 cent things after I show you a couple pins that I got for $2. Well, thanks. You weren't sure. I thought so, just by the style of it. Yeah, I would say most, you know, like 80%, 90%, probably of the stuff you see with the script Monet on it today is, is new. This is a signer, uh, very cute little uh, enameled with faux turquoise beads turtle. And um, I was really excited to get that. Signers are really good, uh, C-I-N-E-R. They're a good mid-century costume jewelry maker. But, uh, you know, my eyes aren't that great. As I got at home, I, I did see there's, there's some of the little... Um, beads missing. I think there's one on his foot here missing. Um, there's one up here missing. But um, I think I can still sell it. You know, I think, yeah, I think there's only two missing. But I didn't see that. I couldn't, you can't see that, especially if you were wearing it. It's very cute. You can't see it. And, um, Where's the mark at? The mark is right here. Oh, cha-ching. Thank you. Finally in order. Um, the mark is right here, signer. As you can see that right there on his leg. And you see how well made it is. Oh, no, you won't, Chris. That would be... I'll do, it'll just be my pleasure to to gift those to you. Is it silver or gold, Chris? Let me know. You love the turtle? Thanks. I like the turtle too. Um, I'd like an owl in that Monet style. Yeah, I don't. Do I have an owl? Yeah, I do have an owl. It's gold. I'll show you my I, I my owl. Let's see which box is it in. Which box is it in? I have five boxes now. I have five Monet boxes now of jewelry. There's my owl. This actually was gifted to me from Anita. Anita Fanita. Um, a good while back, um, I think I bought something from her or I won something or something. It was at least a year or so ago. Um, turtles sell well for you. Uh, there must be lots of collectors. Gold. Okay. Got it, Chris. Um, Chris. Um, put 
your uh, send me your address via Instagram okay before I forget um, here's a ring that I got for 99 cents not this one but this one was in my shop I took it out because I wanted to wear a green ring today and then I was like maybe I ought to keep that because that looks really cute that looks cute and it fits my and it looks nice on the on that finger but isn't this cool I don't know it's not magnetic but it's kind of uh, it didn't shine up real good I mean that's kind of as shiny as it gets but I kind of like it like that uh, it's not super shiny it's kind of uh, I don't know what reminds me of a planet or something see how it is now it's just a rivet on there and um, it's not you know it's not particularly well made or anything because it's just riveted on and that was loose and I turned it around so that it wouldn't move and when it when it finally got tight it ended up horizontal kind of and I was like oh I like it like that so I'm gonna leave it like that at least it's tight it's not moving around uh prayers for my daughter Rhonda today Angie she is having trouble with her thyroid medicine and prayers would be greatly appreciated from all your prayer warriors in the chat I'm gonna do that right now before I forget if you guys don't mind um, dear Heavenly Father we just um, bring Lydia's daughter to you Lord and we just ask you to um, Give her what she needs, Lord, from this medicine. I pray that it would work, Father, and that uh, she would be able to tolerate whatever is um, happening with the medicine and that it would heal her, Father. Um, and we just leave her in your hands, Lord. We know you are the great physician, and we just trust that you will do um, more that we even ask, just like your word says, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, I love shopping. Oh, Carol says she's shop I'm shopping in my own store. Yeah, I do that every once in a while. I do. I have to say, I do. But if I get something out and it fits and I like it, you know, sometimes it ends up being mine. And this, this is also very interesting. It has a trombone clasp. I wrote down what it said on it. Now I forget. It's signed. Did you ever see anything like that before? It's a little donkey. It's got a uh, one of those like blister pearls, I think, and it has a chain, uh, like a you know, like it's tethered to something, and. There's the back of it with the trombone clasp. And down here at the bottom, it's not magnetic. I do think it's at least gold filled. There's little tiny, there's marks. And then there, I think it's AJ, if I remember right, down there on the bottom. Hi, Sandra. So that's, that's cute, right? Anybody ever see that before? I haven't researched it yet. I gotta, I gotta look that up today because I'm curious about that. Hey, Carla. And um, I got this, which I like a lot. And I don't know why it's not signed. Make sure it's not signed. It ought to be signed. It's cool. I don't see any sign, but I like it. Isn't that neat? I just think it's so well made and so well done with the uh, rhinestones going up the the wings and there's none missing and it's like a satin finish, a Florentine finish a little bit. And then the... Um, his head is like a polished gold and then he has a red rhinestone and this glass cabochon for the body really nice quality made pin 
And I don't know why it's not signed. I would suspect that would be like an, an unsigned so-and-so, you know, if, if you could find who who did it, you know. An unsigned Boucher, an unsigned somebody. It almost looks like a Boucher, actually. He did birds. That's an Etsy sound. Yeah, I, I only have Etsy, Carol, so that would be the Etsy sound, the cha-ching. This was 99 cents, and it's got wear on it, but, you know, it's old. It deserved to come home with me. It's just old, and it's not missing any stones, and um, it does have some wear there. But I'm not going to do anything to it because um, it just deserves to be like it is, I think. It's pretty neat. No, I don't see anything on it. It's the back of it. Really nice Trafari clip-on earrings from probably the 50s or or the 60s. Uh, there was a lot of green stuff. Let me put them on. Let me clip them on here so you'll be able to see how how they go and how awesome they are. They're very, very pretty. Now you would think these would go in the other direction, but they all the clip goes the clip goes up like this. So I I think you could wear them, you know, horizontally like that. They're, they're in really good shape. I don't know if you can see how pretty they are. And this a glass cabochon here. See the backs of them. The, they're crown trafari, of course. They're older. Gold plated, I'm sure. Hi, Mary Harris. Is Mary under the weather? I hope you're better. Oh, thank you, Mary, for the compliment on my store. Um, and this is cute. Oh, everything that you see coming up is 99 cents unless I tell you otherwise. And it should, it should still be 99 cents always. Um, that's just cute. Just a tiny pin with the uh, with rhinestones in it. Okay, this ring. <laughs> it's cool. I don't know if it might be like a Cracker Jack ring or something. I'm thinking it is or like a bubblegum machine ring or something because it's it's tin or some kind of soft, pliable metal but i just think it's very cute because it's got a cowboy on it and it's got a lot of detail and um it's old it's definitely old and it was all misshapen but uh, my husband put it on a dowel rod and straightened it for me Cute, right? I don't care. 99 cents? Yes, I got it. But see, it's, it's, uh, I don't even know what kind of metal that is. Aluminum, maybe? It might be aluminum. Looks kind of aluminum. Who knows? There, there might be somebody looking for these. There might be somebody collecting those. Um, lots of green jewelry today. I know. I love green. Green jewelry is one of my favorites. Okay, who collects these Lucinda pins? I've got a Lucinda pin. With some ladies on it. It's called a it's called Woman Pins by Lucinda. And if I do say so myself, that's a cute one. 
I'm not a big Lucinda pin fan, but if I was was to be, I would like that one a lot because I think that one's cute. I like the colors. I like the form of it. I like the ladies. Kind of cute. A Tom Mix ring. Really? I never heard of Tom Mix. So I'm going to have to look him up. Um, Tom Mix. With two X's, huh? See? Thank you, Christelle. Thank you, Chris. She knows a lot of stuff. Um, thank you, Isabel. Mary Luz. Hugs. Hola. And Grande um, Abrazo. Abrazos. However you do that. <laughs> this is a little pin. It's by um, Old Cowboy Movie Star. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. This is by Silver Star. Very, almost not readable, but I like it. It says silver star on the back. It's not magnetic. Don't know what it's what it's made of. But um interesting looking. I like the colors. I like the gray and the and the red faceted, faceted rhinestones. Cute. It seems like it's a you know kind of a well well done pin for what it is. Unique. I found only the Lucinda house pins. Yeah, I have one house pin. That's all I have. One, and I, I never sold it or anything because I thought, oh, does anybody want these? But apparently, people are collecting those. So, and then I, I, Sally Vintage Discovery said there's breast cancer ones and there's kid ones. You know, children playing or something. So there's different ones. This is neat. I'm not a stick pin person either, but I think this is really cool. Um, it's just plastic, I guess, with the rhinestone. It's old. It's older, so I like it. Faux tortoise, like. And you know, I like birds, so. I'll probably hang on to that. That's pretty cute. Pretty cute. This is the first money clip I've found for a while. That's a pretty one in nice condition. I like it. The fleur de lis. And it's like what? It's like a two sided looking fleur de lis or not? I don't even know what. That almost looks like a fleur de lis, but then there's something off about it. So I don't know. It's not really a fleur de lis, it's just kind of this. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. There's the back of it. It's in good shape. So I want to get that listed. I wish I'd had that for Father's Day. Although, one pair of cufflinks sold for Father's Day. That was it. I didn't have any business on Father's Day. Uh, some of the... Some are actually pretty nicely designed, but I definitely redonated the bunch. Oh, that's right, you did, Carla. I remember that. You you got rid of all, all of your um, Lucinda pins. It's kind of the thing where you're either drawn to those or you're not. You know, I'm not so much. Um. <laughs> You love the bird stick pin. I do too. And I love these too. No name, but a uh, very cute design in the Florentine finish with the open work geometric design. Very 
60s, 70s. Very cool. I like those. Got to get those listed. Oh, there's so many things I have to get listed. I so wish I had a helper. I asked my husband, I said, would you, I said, if, if you helped me, I said, we just have, and I just said this as a joke because I don't care about this and neither does he. I said, we, I said, if you would just help me, we'd have money rolling in here. <laughs> and then I laughed because he knows I don't care about that. He doesn't either, but he said, yeah, that's going to happen. I'm like, I know, I know it's not going to happen. That's cute. I like the coins. Geo earrings. Hablo solo un poco espanol. Muy, muy poco. Yeah, just a little bit. Un poco. Oh, I like these two. These, these look like they're some kind of designer that aren't signed. They're very old. Carla, I saw you picked up some kind of japanned clips at your at a yard sale because I saw you. You were real quick about it. You got to be a little slower, but I know why you were quick because you wanted to get them and see what else was there. But you picked up some black rhinestone earrings and then you turned them over and they were black on the back. So they were japanned. These are pretty. I just can't help but think there's some somebody, you know. I like I love the pin set. I like anything that's pin set. And I also like when they have the rhinestones in the pin. That's the best. That's the prettiest thing, I think. Um, when they have that like that. These are West Germany. Uh, yeah, W Germany. And I think they're really cute for Right now, I need to get those listed. I like the colors for summer. Very cute, like little chunks of dyed shell or glass. I don't know. That's glass or what it is. Cute, though. And it's, that's what they look like on the back, and they're marked W Germany. Yeah, it is hard to film and shop. Holding the camera. You need one of those GoPro things or something. These kind of common, but I I like the I like the texture of them, so I got them for 99 cents. You know I like my earrings, so they're, it's mostly going to be earrings that I'm showing you. I'm sorry if you get bored with earrings, but you know I like them. Now, this is not earrings. I have no idea what if there's a market for these, what they're worth, but I got these big, giant cloisonne beads. Um, they were in a bag, so they were all... they. All these were 99 cents. If I put my hand down any further, they're all going to roll all over the place. But you see them? Big beads. Is there, is there, do you think they're going to be any good for resale or are they just, uh, are they just readily available and cheap? I do not know. Oh, Lydia, they're your favorite too. Look at that. Nice and green. That is pretty. These are very, very pretty. Very pretty beads. Oh, the white one's pretty too. So I don't know, you know, if there's a market for those or if they're cheap or or expensive, but I know that I know that uh, they're more than 99 cents. Gotta be. Gotta be more than 99 cents, right? Um, big, big, giant poinsettia pin. Look, it takes up my whole head. <laughs> it's 
cute and there's, there's no there's no wear on it at all that I see set well on the back here a little bit a little bit around the the back I don't know why they painted the whole the whole pin but they did unless that was painted afterwards I don't know I just spit on the screen oh well sorry about that <laughs> now that bothers me <laughs> um Okay. Uh, those may be called Camp Live, very similar to Cloisonne, and they are supposed to be very collectible. Sorry for this misspelling. Uh, C H A M P L E V E, or is that misspelled, you think? I will look them up. Roberta! Thanks for showing up. Thanks for coming. It's great to see you. Um, yeah, that's a good Christmas pin, isn't it? I mean, that's a big one, wasn't it? Okay, I wish I, I wish there would have been two of these, but there was only one. But still, for ninety nine cents, just because it was so old and so cool, I got it. It is a. It is a clip, a fur clip, I guess. We're going to have to go in 15 minutes because Adam is having a hangout. Um, Tracy, hi. If you all want to go over and see Adam, see how he's doing. He's on now, I think. Or maybe that was just a notice that he's coming on. I don't know. These are really pretty. They were 99 cents. I'm going to quit saying that. Because you all, I already told you they were 99 cents. Aren't they pretty? I think those are very special for that price. Uh, yeah, I that making into a pendant. I tried that with something and it just didn't it didn't turn out. I don't think I had the right hardware to go with it. Um I don't know. I think it's easier than easier said than done. At least for me. I'm not that crafty. Um just look how pretty they are. Man, I really like those. Those are so like dressy. Really like those. But they are not marked either. They're they're no name too. Tracy, how are you today? How's everything? How's the boys? How's your dad doing? This is Kenneth Cole. And people like these um, autumn pins, like autumn themed pins. I've sold a few autumn themed pins, so I don't know why, but people like stuff like that, I think. So I think that might sell come autumn. It's pretty cute. This is a Trafari. With the key hang tag. It's a little choker. Um, I tried it on. It's pretty short. The chain's really different. Um, it just, it fits around my neck, but like that's about it. Um, it would bother me to wear it. So it's for someone with a real thin neck, to say the least. Um, but it's very pretty, the chain links. You know, Tafari is very, very well made. Oh, uh, thank you, Roberta. Thanks, I like yours too. Your jewelry is just amazing. 
these are really pretty. They're no name also, but I love the design of those. This one straightened out. There we go. Aren't they pretty? Oh, wow, I think they're really neat. I really love everything about those. Not that I'd wear them, but they look like art to me. That's why I like them. Got this little heart ring. I thought it was a mood ring, but it's not. It doesn't do a thing. Uh, it just It's just kind of gray, but it's pretty. I will use the pools of light magical keywords <laughs> for that when I list it. So that's cute, right? Very vintagey. And it's just, you know, it's not uh not particularly high end or anything. It's just a little costume ring. It's adjustable. But it's in, you know, it's not in bad shape. It's textured, textured silver tone. Looks cute on the hand, I think. <laughs> you don't have a chicken neck. I don't either. Who does anymore? Angie, my computer is buffering constantly. Such a shame. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I hope it's not on my end. I will see you next week, too. I, I have... I'm going to put out some more videos, but I did do a, a little recording of a video yesterday. So maybe you can watch that later. Um, bye, Tracy. These are marked Assessorcraft. So that's pretty much why I got them, because they had that mark on them, Assessorcraft. And I think that's pretty good. Uh, very old costume jewelry maker, Sessa Craft. In fact, I think they're, they're somebody else. Um, they, they evolved into another name or something. I can't remember, but they're like that on the back and they're, they're signed on the little thing there. And then they have that like that. Big storms are coming your way. I think, I think they might be coming this way too. Let's see, I'll show you a couple more things, and then I think I might cut it short for today. These are Stanhope. Did anybody ever hear of Stanhope? No, not Stanhope. Stan Home. I'm sorry. I was thinking of that, that other maker. Stan Home. Like Stan, is that like Stanley Home Products or something? But I didn't know they had jewelry. But these are very nice. Very nicely made. Nice door knockers. And then down here they say stand home on them. Down here at the bottom. But um, ooh, I like them. I like those. They are very pretty. Okay. Bye, Kathleen. I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off too, you guys. Go over and see uh, Adam, and uh, see how he's doing. And we will catch you all next week. Take care, be blessed, and uh, I'm gonna be praying for uh, your daughter Lydia and oh Pamela. Oh hi Pam. Hi, I'm just signing off, but um, go and watch the replay. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate each and every one of you. See you next week, maybe, or through the week. I might have a haul. I don't know. Bye for now. Love you. Bye.